Shalom, shalom l'kulam. We are back on track to uh, keep working on the letters of the alphabet, and today we're going to cover the shin. We want to see how the shin is used, either as a prefix or a suffix. And before we get started, we're going to review the handwriting for the shin. The letter shin starts close to the bottom of the line, circles around, and comes back around up the top. One, two. The dot will either go here for shin or here for sin. The letter shin only has one use. It's as a prefix, and it is used as actually as a contraction for uh, what we call a relative particle. So we're going to see the full word first, which is a share, and then we'll look at the contraction. Brejit Aleph, Pasuk Echadesre. Genesis 1, 11. Vayomer Elohim, tache ha'aretz, deshe ese mazriya zera, etz pri ose pri lemino, asher zarovo al ha'aretz, vayihi chen. Vreshit bet, pastuk shtayim, Genesis 2, 2. Vayachol Elohim vayom hashvi'i, malachto asher asa, vayishbot vayom hashvi'i, mikol malachto asher asa. In the Genesis 1 scripture, uh, describing the creation of the trees and the grass, it says that the tree will make fruit, let me know, according to his kind, asher zaro bo, which has the seed in it. So the which goes back to, as a reference to the tree, which is bearing a fruit. In the Genesis 2 scripture, it's talking about when the father finished his work, and it says, all the work, malachto asher asa, which he did. So the asher is a relative pronoun, and it's going back to the previous noun, which is the work. In English, uh, there are several words we might use, which would translate as asher, that, which, or who, um, it's either for a thing or a person. And this is the use for a share. Yonah Dalit Pasuk Eser, Jonah 4.10 Vayomer Yehovah, Atachasta al hakikayon asher lo amalta bo, velo gidalta, shebin laila haya, uvin laila avad. Tehilim Kuf Kaf Bet Pasuk Shalosh Arba, Psalm 122, verses 3 and 4. Yushalayim habinua, ke'ir la yachdav, shesham alu shvatim, shvateya, edut l'israel lahodot l'shem Yehovah. In this next verse from Jonah, we see both the asher and the contraction, just the letter shin by itself. In this verse, uh, Jonah is complaining about the vine, the gourd vine that uh, the father has caused to grow up and give him some shade from the heat. And so in the first instance, uh, it says, Asher, kikayon asher lo amata, the vine, the gourd, which you did not work for. And in the second instance, he's talking about that um, when he says what it came up at, and it grew at night, and the next night it was it was gone. And so again, it uses the relative pronoun which, which uh, it literally says is the sun of the night. It grew up as the sun of the night. Um, and it's referring back again to the kikayon, to the gourd, the vine. In this piece from Psalms, we see that this is talking about uh, Jerusalem, and it talks about the city which is built up together, which is almost, the word is almost like it's tied together. And then it uses the shin again, which to there, which there, the tribes are going up to that place. Now, when you hear the word asher, it might uh, sound familiar to you, so we'll just take a little side Note, um, since this is a short lesson, because that's the only use that we have for Shin. Breshit Lamit Pasuk Shalosh Asre, 
Genesis 30, 13. Vatomer lea, ba ashri, ki ashruni banot, vetikra et shmo asher. Devarim tet zayin pasuk esrim beechad. Deuteronomy 16.21 Lo tita lecha ashira kol et etzom mizbach Yehova elechecha asher ta'ase lach. In this verse from Genesis, and Leah is uh, having another child, and she's uh, she says, well, the women, uh, I will be so happy among all the women uh, the daughters they have called me blessed and she names her child Asher and so all this uh, root is related back to the same root Asher and it has to do with the idea of making progress in a forward direction going straight being blessed for that if we look at the relative pronoun maybe we can tie the two ideas together in that it makes a straight line the pronoun makes a straight line back to the noun, the city which is built up, the city to which, which the tribes go up there. So this is uh, three times we see this root for being happy. You also might recognize the word Asherah, as in Asherah poles. And the only connection perhaps that we can draw between these ideas is that these uh, idols are meant to bring divine fortune if we if the people who pray to them who set them up and pray to them um, think that they can bring the fortune and then they will be happy and we see another uh, share in this verse from Deuteronomy uh, talking about the Mizbeach uh, talking about the altar and it's Miz, Mizbach Yahweh Elohecha the altar of Yahweh your God, Asher, which Ta'aselach, which you are making for yourselves. So the Asher there goes back to the noun before it. It's referring to the altar, the Mizbeach. We are down to one last letter, the Tav, which will take several lessons, and we'll get to those next time. In the meantime, Tasimatayinayim al Keep your eye on the sky. Your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.